These are some drills to teach what now happens after you snap off of the table. So the reality is they're gonna start from a handstand step down and create the positions beginning with a tuck. So they're gonna kick up, put their feet all the way together, start the somersault and finish the somersault in the right shape and then backwards. We always want to go backwards when we're teaching at the beginning so that they learn to keep rotating and don't come up short. She creates the shape and continues to rotate. Now we'll move on to pike, same exercise. If you notice, there's no grabbing of the legs because we want to teach the hips to roll for the tuck or the hips to roll for the pike or the layout. Here's another pike somersault. Hips roll under, fall back in a straight, flat shape. Now Lily is going to go on to a layout, which of course is a lot more challenging because she has to maintain flat hips all the way around. So the shoulders are gonna speed up going down and the hips are gonna be more dynamic off the table. You can see how much rotation she's getting from getting her shoulders down and her hips up. Very good, hold on one second. The reason that you see them placing their arms here after they lift up and start their somersault is to right away begin to learn where the timing of the twist is going to be. It also works on the proper shape, which is keeping your chest in and your shoulder blades apart. Come over here. I'll turn her sideways and you'll see the chest in and you'll see a nice rounded back. That is the same shape she'll twist in as she goes around in a circle. So right from the very beginning, we want to teach that shape. 